And those high winds and rains that swept across the state last night hit Weatherford. News 9's Cameron Joyner was there today to see how they're beginning to recover. Another round of thunderstorms. There we go. You can feel your house shaking. Came barreling through. Very high winds. It was just pouring rain. Winds that were unforgiving. A beautiful oak tree, probably, you know, 40, 50 feet tall. Uprooted totally. You'd never think it would do that. Kale Sawatsky lives in Weatherford, but this isn't his house. Yeah, so this is my grandparents' house. Yet the yard is filled. Neighbors, friends, family. All showing up to help. <laughs> Whether it's me. He was about to climb up the tree. I said, no, I've, I've got it. I'll take care of it. You want to hand this to me? Sawatsky and the rest of the crew wasted no time. And we just started cutting limbs off little by little. We're, we're almost there, so at the final few stages. I think next, Terry, I need to get back and maybe do another couple up top. While folks here in Weatherford help each other clear out the debris outside their homes, city officials are concerned with getting the lights back on inside. We've got a significant number of, of poles and lines that are down. We focused on getting the roadways open for the power company companies so that they can get started on their restoration. Fire Chief Mike Merlin says that work is well underway. Uh, they've got a lot of town back on, but they're still working. There are going to be a lot of residents that are going to be without power for quite some time. But Chief Carlin says Weatherford will bounce back. Absolutely. It'll just take us just a little bit of time to get there. And families like Sawatsky's are the norm in his town. It's a great place to live. You know, you see your neighbors helping neighbors. Showing the Oklahoma standard. You know, that's just what we do. Definitely a, a family first community. It's neighbors, friends family and it, that's really awesome about this town in Weatherford I'm Cameron Joyner Oklahoma's own News 9